This is where our story begins. This is Narapis, population 12. And no one here was uh, really ready for Spatula Boy until he was born. This is Jessica, the woman who carried Zack for nine months. It is a marvel how doctors, friends, family, even including the mother, never noticed the classic signs of spatulism. Oh, Zachary, let's see. We knew he was different right from the beginning. He, um, he was great at ping pong, though. I'm not going to say anything that's going to put him down because he is my son and I love him very much. But, uh, yeah, he was great at ping pong. And I uh, used to help out a lot in the kitchen. That was great for me. Like the, you know, those little spatula things with the eggs, flipping them around pancakes for me. He got really, really good at it. He got lucky and got himself a job in the city uh, scraping gum off the sidewalks, which he uh, took quite a pride in. Having spatulas for hands isn't an easy thing to deal with, and we're lucky to be able to show you some of the inside of Zach's life. As for Zach's father, he couldn't deal with the fact that his son had spatulas for hands. He became an alcoholic and always blamed himself. It was later revealed that he had a secret life as an underground chef. It was about that time in September when Zach was about to start his high school career at Harborview High School when his dad decided to leave the family. He returned five minutes later realizing he forgot his wallet, but then he was really gone. Performing everyday tasks and fitting in was a real challenge for Zach. Simple things like trying to get a drink were nearly impossible. The high school sweetheart was another thing for Zach to overcome, if you can imagine trying to remove a bra with spatulas for hands. We took an opportunity to go to Harborview to speak to one of the teachers that previously taught Zach. You know, you're, uh, you're asking questions about something that happened a few years ago. What was his name? Spatula. Spatula something. Spatula. Spatula boy. He had, uh... Spatulas for her hands, not fingers. I knew you were coming, so I hauled out some previous work. It's been the main focus of what I've looked at for the past 20 years. And the patterns are incredible. I mean, this book, it's just... Look at this, for instance. Now, this is someone here who not only had spatulas for hands, but... Uh, lemon zesters for toes. And both, both those two items together, he was able to create fantastic, fantastic works. I got a sample of his, of his work for you, just to, uh, just have a look at that. Have a look at that. Brilliant. Brilliant. I mean, God, between the two spatulas, I'll kind of mime it for you. Uh, uh, I'll use a fresh pen for the occasion. He used to grip the pen like this. Uh, and I can't even duplicate this, I'll try, but he would... <sighs> See, I, can't, I can't do it! And, and anyway, just when you look at those two words, nobody can read what they say. Or I have no clue of what is meant, but... Just brilliant. It shows through. Brilliance. They called him the flipper, but 
kids can be cool like that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I called him SB. It was SB. You're close, you know, close in that in that teacher-student kind of way of however uh, close you can be. Clipper. Clipper? Just recently, though. Flash was for hands. Anyway. What are your thoughts on it? I've taught him. Never taught him? No. Always wanted to? Ever had the challenge of teaching some kid with specialists for him? I once had uh, taught a student with uh, ladles. <laughs> yeah. Never specialists. I could never love I'm sorry, I got it. Just for hands. Just Easy having spatulas in our hands. Unforgivable. We didn't know what to tell the mother at birth. We had never seen anything like it. We didn't even know if it was heat resistant or dishwasher safe at that point. Zach's life has touched us all, and the story of Spatula Boy will continue to reach others throughout the years. Jesus now.